What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new CK2 Game of Thrones series set during Robert's Rebellion. Westeros is on the brink of civil war. Rhaegar Targaryen, heir to the Iron Throne, has kidnapped Lyanna Stark, the betrothed of the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands and daughter of the Lord Paramount of the North. Brandon Stark, her elder brother and heir to the North, charges south demanding vengeance. The Mad King Aerys, outraged by Brandon's demands, has him and his father executed and calls for Eddard's head as well. As all but Balon Greyjoy and Tywin Lannister prepare to declare their allegiances, it is up to you to decide the fate of the Seven Kingdoms. And you've probably already seen this, uh, by, or you probably already know because you've read the title of the video, so it's not a surprise to you that we'll try to decide the fate of the Seven Kingdoms as Crown Prince Rhaegar Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone, eldest son of King Aerys II and his sister wife Rhaella. He has proven to be an able man, handsome and intelligent, respected by nobility and beloved by the small folk. Uh, as his father's sanity dwindled after the defiance of Duskendale, Rhaegar continued to serve faithfully. Then in 281 AC, at the tourney at Harrenhal, scandal rocked the realm as Prince Rhaegar, the victor of the tourney, bestowed the title of Queen of Love and Beauty on the beautiful Lyanna Stark, betrothed of the Lord Robert Baratheon instead of on his own wife, Elia Martell. A year passed and Rhaegar and Lyanna eloped, though some say he kidnapped her. The actions of his father have inflamed the situation beyond the point of diplomacy, and now the Dragon Prince finds himself required to defend his house from oblivion. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So in the beginning, we're obviously going to try and defeat Robert and his friends and swish the rebellion. Uh, but later, if we are victorious, that is, and survive, and if our father survives as well, we're going to try and overthrow him. Things will change after this rebellion, but first, we must be victorious. And this is going to be difficult enough, because these three gentlemen are going to fight us. This gentleman is not really going to be particularly helpful, and whatever Tyrone Lannister does is going to have a very big impact on this, uh, on this war. So, let's actually start the game. And... Um, I have a few rules already, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go for this. I think both of these rules are exactly the same. I don't know why I have two different slots for them, but it doesn't matter. And we'll just start the game like this. Um, I do have a few personal rules, especially uh, concerning combat. Um, I do not want to have commander teleportation. I know the AI does that as well, but... If I assign a commander to an army, then, and even if they're outmaneuvered, outnumbered, or whatever, I'm not going to take out the commander in, in hopes of not getting them killed or captured, because that's very unrealistic. So I will, especially Rhaegar, I think is the one that's that's very important here. If he leads an army and gets, gets captured, outmaneuvered, then that's it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Um, so yeah. Uh... Okay, that's just a warning. That doesn't really matter. We know all of this stuff. Thank you very much. And yeah, there we are. Lyanna Stark is currently in my care and is residing in the Tower of Joy. She's my queen of love and beauty. That she is indeed. Odron is our maester. Okay, that's good to know. Let's quickly, well, let's check out the Prince of Dragonstone. Now, as always, I like to roleplay with characters that are so well-known, like Rhaegar. Um, I will, well, have, th th the traits will have less of an impact, and I will play them in the way I think they would have, they would have ruled, uh, especially after the war. We don't know too much about Rhaegar because he died relatively young, um, but what from what we know, I will try and incorporate that into the series as much as possible. One thing I also want to mention, because that's been suggested to me by one of my uh, Patreon supporters, um, that it would be really cool and very, very nice for roleplay overall if I was to write down um, the reason for when a character gets a certain trait. Because uh, sometimes people be become cruel for various reasons. And so their cruelty or their zealousness or, or zealotry or whatever other trait uh, could be very different than for other character. Okay, uh, that was terribly explained. I think I will do that again. For now, let's actually just move forward. I think maybe you got the gist, gist of it. But uh, for now, what we want to do is we want to... It's actually kind of hot to say... Do we want to have five children? Alright, I'm already struggling with this. 
Mm, an only title? I guess. I mean, falling in love, I sort of think that makes sense. It's interesting that we do not have any lovers, but I guess that's what we're going to go with. Yeah. And we are a brilliant commander. We are also a poet. Mm, I think we should focus on war right now. I feel like this... We don't like doing this. We're not kind of the, the person that likes to fight. But we're going to go for it right now because we need to win the war. So, um, we can appoint a designated regent. Okay, let's quickly check this out. We do not have a master at arms right now. Our current castellan is our septon. Is there something better? Any? Do we have any friends? We do not. Okay. So, I guess we would make Lord Gunther. Miles Mutant. Oh, we do have friends. Okay, Miles Mutant is apparently the heir to Maiden Pool. He would be a great master at arms. We've got Jonathan Derry, mm, the King's Guard. Louis Martel. Harry's. Richard Larnmouth is our friend as well. Okay, so I guess that will appear here once we actually go forward in time. Alright, well, as master at arms, I think Louis Martel is a little bit too good. Jonathan Derry. I think Gunther uh, will do the job. Train the troops in Dragonstone, please. We'll have our treasurer, Lord Adrian, the Red Crab of House Celtigar, with his Villian Steel Sword. And um, he will be he will be collecting taxes there. Thank you very much. As Spymaster, Harry's seems pretty bad. Melee's maybe. It's a little bit better. Just some random person. Court physician, that's Maester Odron. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll have you perform charity. Septon, that's fine. And then as just as a... Ooh, we could actually pick our wife. I think we will do that. The Lady of Dawn, yeah. And then as Castellan... Hmm, Aenys. I think he's a little bit better overall. We'll pick you. Yeah, and you will oversee the realm. Okay, good. So with that done, we still need a designated regent. And as designated regent, I, I, I think... We're still going to pick our wife, I feel like. Or, hmm, maybe, maybe the mutant guy. Although I can't find him. Oh, there he is. Well, he's more of a fighter. Hmm. All right, Elia, yeah, you get this. Bodyguards. Now, we're going to pick our friends, of course. We have some Kingsguard here as well. And I think the rest of these titles are not that important right now. So I'm not going to go for it. I will have automatically assigned commanders, but let's see if there's something better here. Uh, Miles Mewton, Jonathan Derry, and Lewin. That's good. And then, yeah, I guess you... No, it's already pretty good commanders, because you've got these traits. Okay. Now, other than that, the Septon is apparently not doing anything. There you go. And the rest does not matter all that much. So, we are currently leading men in King's Landing. This is where we are. These are not my men. These are... Okay, these are my father's troops. And we are, of course, fighting the uh, our rival. Okay, Robert Baratheon. That makes sense. And uh, his brothers. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, John Aaron in the Vale. We've got Eddard Stark in the North. And Hosta Tully. Of the Riverlands. He's still very young here. Kind of nice. Uh, we've got uh, the Greyjoys. Quellon Greyjoy. Father of Balon. That's interesting. Is he still alive? I wasn't aware of that actually. Okay. And then we've got the Reach. with. Oh right. He died in the war I think. Quellon. I think he died in. Uh, he he um, sailed for the Reach. And there was a battle at the Manda. And that's where Quellon Greyjoy actually died. Yeah, okay, and then we'll have you as important characters as well. And then who's missing? My father is missing. Yeah, he's sort of important. And then that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all the important people. Look, come out of Night's Watch is a sand Dornish. Yeah, okay, that doesn't really matter all that much. Now, Maidenpool might even join us. Yeah, they're actually helping us out. Very cool. 
Okay, maybe our friends, maybe I'll go forward just one day so we get all of our friendships and stuff. <clears throat> because, yeah, that might be important. Arthur Dane, our friend. Uh, yep, John Connington of Griffin's Roost. And then Miles Mutant as well as Richard Lawnmouth. Now, where is he even from? That's a Stormlander. Okay, well, I guess I know who's going to get Storm's End. Okay, the Valyrian's Freehold's politics was dominated by 40 families of great wealth, high birth, and strong sorcerer's abilities, known as Dragon Lords. They spoke the High Valyrian language and had great skill in shaping stone. Incest and polygamy was a common practice among the blood of old Valyria. That is what we are. We are the blood of old Valyria. Yes, we are. Okay, now there's a few men already raised here in Dragonstone, but I will probably raise my own men as well. How's Darius joining us? Yeah, as are quite a few people. The Graftons of Goldtown. Hmm. A lot of the Stormlords, a lot of the smaller Stormlords are joining us. Summerhall has not yet been rebuilt, but this is going to be something that we want to do if we are successful in this war. Alright, now let's raise our own men. Uh, in fact, what I might want to do... Ares is leading troops in King's Landing. Are you mad? Yeah, well, he is mad, actually, yeah. Uh, why do I even ask? Okay, well, we'll raise our own men. And try and get them together. Perhaps that is sufficient. Yeah. And then... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go here. We're not getting any troops from Driftmark. That's interesting let's go a little bit faster and all hail his grace yeah look we're not gonna curse our father's name he does not deserve that yep you have created a high low trip that's fine and you guys need to get together we'll first gather our forces and then perhaps i'm even going to resign as commander for my father but i haven't really fully decided this yet he wants to make us high admiral we shall accept as long as we are able to lead forces I don't see the problem with it. And then, let's go to uh, the Claw Isle, please. There you go. Picking up our forces. There's already a few fights going on. Obviously, the Reach is going to help us. Perhaps, ooh, John Connington's going to have a little bit of a problem. Hmm. And Cracklaw Point has been created. That's nice. All kinds of titles have been created. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you. Can you... Oh, and who just died? No, it was John Connington, wasn't it? It was John Connington. Damn it. That is actually pretty terrible. John Con was just slain in personal combat by Robert Baratheon. Wow. John Con so quickly he died. Ah, the first major casualty in this war. Meanwhile, we see House Derry cutting through some Tully Bannermen. That's good to see and um yeah who is gonna lead this i think prince lewin martel he's a siege leader siege leader we have an organizer jonathan Derry is gonna have to lead the center i will have miles mutin on the flank and then lewin martel as well and then in the center i would like to have gunther there, because I'm going to be leading troops for my father in King's Landing. We can stand down our ships, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We're probably going to try and help out, uh, help protect Maidenpool and Derry, uh, since we have two commanders there. Um, it's probably the most prudent thing. Gouldtown is still looking good. Perhaps we could have helped them out as well. There's many things we can do, but yeah. Lost the battle here at the Trident. Not the big one yet. Uh, but this could happen soon. We lost our Spy Master as well. Um, Brian. Richard. You know what, Richard? I'll I'll have you as Spy Master. I, I trust you. I trust you. And sometimes that's more important than ability. Okay, you're all creating title. Yeah, that's nice and all. Perhaps, you know what? We're going to try and defeat Brynden. Is that... That is Tully. That is Brynden Tully right now. Okay, you know what? We can't actually do this because there's a big army coming as well. We'll march to King's Landing. Where are we heading? 
Amberley. This is our army here. 10,000 men. We're marching them into the Stormlands. Trying to defeat a thousand men. Okay. We don't seem to be able to catch them, which is rather unfortunate. There is 11,000 men. Lord Paramount Robert. Okay. Come on. Seriously. How many titles can you create there? It's, it's enough now. Stop it. Start with the uh, High Lordship creation thing. Thank you. Okay. So... I wonder if I should attach to some of these forces. Doran Martell is known as the Wise. Uh, I like that. And we gain extra gold for Adrian. Celtica. Very nice. I think we're going to attach to these. Ooh, you know what? I might just pick a fight with these 1,900. But there is a... Yep, they're being stopped. So we're going to go to Greensward and we'll destroy these 2,000 men. It's going to be our first battle that we actually fight ourselves. I like it. Aenys is no longer Seneschal. Oh, okay. So they're being killed off, these High Valyrians. I understand. Um, hmm. Seneschal. Mo Sir Monteries. Right, fine. We'll have the Septon as our Seneschal. It's, it's okay. Just oversee it around, please. Very nice. Okay, so this is our first battle. We're gonna fight in the forest. It's actually not me leading this, obviously. Don't know how I feel about this. I would love to be able to control this army. Hmm, maybe I should resign as a commander. But the, we were victorious. It doesn't seem to have really gotten us much. Hmm. And they keep dying. It's uh, kind of annoying, I must say. Septon. Why do his Septons die, though? Natural death. I think this is the High Valyrian killing. But I'm not entirely certain of this. The Veil forces have arrived. I don't know why the Reach is over here all on their own. I can't say I like it. But yeah, we'll have to attach to uh, these 18,000 men. And see what we can do. Oh. Yep, there's going to be a battle. We'll have to help out. Oh, shoot. Alright, this is not going well. And we're being attacked. Alright, let's attach and see where this goes. Okay, so we're part of this big stack now. And, oh, there is some Stepstone Raiders. Okay, there is a big army from the Reach. 21,000 men and 11,000 men. Savardus so Egan, I imagine, is going to get attacked. It's looking good so far. The Dornish are finally moving as well. And there's a few more Reacher men. <sighs> and these people keep dying. This is so frustrating. So very frustrating right now. Okay, but we've got twin battles in Rene and Hayford. So uh, let's watch that for a while. But yeah, we are just cutting through them on both sides. Am I even leading troops? I am leading troops here. So there's a... Yep, it's Sir Vardis Egan, actually. So there's a possibility that uh, we're going to have a little bit of a fight here. A little bit of a duel, maybe? No. 5,000 men destroyed. Wow. Okay, that was a show of force. Now the Starks have arrived. Well, it took they took their sweet time. There it is, the uh, Prince Oberyn leading forces against uh, the Vale. So far, so good, I would say. We've been held off for a while. That's not gonna stop us for long. Okay, we've got so many forces. I think we got this, maybe. And, oh, the Vale Mountain Clans. They are choosing a right time to attack. He's got 12,000 men. Timit. Hrova. Timit, son of Timit. So this could be the father of Timit that we know from the books. It's very possible. We'll see how he does. If they are successful, we will, if he's successful, um, then we might even... We might even let them keep it. I don't know. We'll have to see. But this is pretty interesting. So far, we are winning the war. And it's the AI doing it, mostly. Although some of our Dornish forces are being defeated now. It's kind of dis... No, and we're taking a big river crossing here. I am leading men. Though I'm not shown as a commander. Ah, So very unfortunate to have this guy leading. I mean, no offense, dude, but... He's just not that good. My courier is not exhorting himself in his studies. Yeah, don't be slothful. 
yeah, just don't, don't, don't be slothful, and he's not anymore, that's great. Maybe I can, um, I'll take you on as a squire, sure, why not, why not? I still don't have a priest, okay, that's fine. Seems like we're cutting through them easily enough, though. Some northern men, some northern commander has been killed, and there the Reach seems to have some problems against uh, Robert Baratheon. Yep, he's uh, winning battles himself, supported by the Vale forces. How's Rowan has risen against us? Oh, interesting. That is certainly interesting. We're only winning by 9% now. The Battle of Greenswood was pretty bad, the one that we lost here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see the uh, conclusion of this one. Only 600 men defeat it. It's kind of hard to say who has the upper hand. Uh, the problem is that my father is leading most of the royal forces. I don't really have that much control over them. Um, and yeah. Wow, they all died a sickly infant? I actually don't remember that. And my mother should be pregnant and give birth to Daenerys Targaryen. Um, but that will not happen in this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. So far, um, things are looking okay. I hope that we're going to be able to uh, fight Robert Baratheon. I want to duel him and kill him in personal combat. That would be amazing. But uh, that will be happening next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys then.